So I took um, a uh, a little test kit you can get on Amazon, and no, um, you put like fifteen of your hairs in there, and it tells you what you're intolerant to. Not oh, al- I thought you were gonna do the Irish DNA no, thing. No, okay. not not like allergic, but like your body is kind of like has a has like lack a, of tolerance, lack of too? tolerance, kind of almost like a gluten intolerance. But, Got it. Um, <laughs> and it shows you like hundreds of things. And there's level like one level one. Uh, it's kind of you kind of have a tiny bit of sensitivity, but it's probably not very much. Okay. Level two is something that is a little more in level three. It's like you're pretty darn sensitive to it, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, trolling, you got a negative five. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So what I'm interested. <laughs> wow. I, d- I don't trust this thing in the slightest because <laughs> it's beer level three, what? red wine level three, whiskey level three, and coffee <laughs> level. Stupid family, <laughs> begin interceding and praying for Corbin now. <laughs> oh, I ain't doing shit about that. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Of course, I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon, follow the Twitter account, subscribe, and the like button. No, I know you're not going to change anything. Mm, no. Just we need to pray your your tolerance level. What? It does, it doesn't well, how would how, it, it what, does, like your immune system would have a hard time with well, it? Like, or? Well, it's more because my mom has a lot of stuff like. If she eats certain things, it's not really that she's allergic, but her body right. might like her joints might ache or right. or like or she'll bloat or. Well, that explains why she's bloating yeah. and aching exactly. after sex with me. Exactly. Yeah. But so it's like more stuff like that. So like your body internally is not processing it correctly. Got it. Like a gluten allergy. Like a gluten, which okay. apparently I'm a level three. <laughs> well, have you noticed anything? No. Like that? <laughs> No, I've literally never eaten something and noticed any kind of reaction to my body in the slightest ever. Right. So I've, I, that's weird. Yeah. So what's the scale in terms of, you know, avoid this or you're going to the hospital? Would that be a level 10? I I, it's only three levels. Oh, so you hit the peak of all. Yeah. And those are just entirely, because it's not allergy. No, no, no. It's just level of tolerance. So like my brother is deathly allergic to shellfish. He'll die. Right. Shellfish. Right. And he has an EpiPen. Right. I don't, I've never eaten something and had a a reaction. Well, do they, they are aware of the fact that most Anyway, well, it does have the stuff weird. that like the the additives as well in there. So oh. like uh, xanthanone gum, right, or, right, and like it has all those different like um, process, like the processed high fructose, yes. high fructose corn syrup, it which has is that crap. kind of stuff in it as well. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think probably most people are. Probably yeah, most people have an intolerance to that <laughs> processed meats. Anyways, anyway, so that was uh, that's that was wild. An interesting development that happened. Uh, anyways, uh, today a uh, Manoj Bajpayee has a new trailer that just came out. I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. see the trailer, but I it's saw he posted it. So called I went right on by Gulmohar, uh, which is different from um, the one that we kind of saw a little teaser for of Amazon's stuff. I think it was a, it was called Soup. That we that we saw a little tiny teaser for back in November of like everything Amazon has coming out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Netflix or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it was Soup, which is not this. I think, I think it was Amazon. Out, I think that comes out around May. Okay. But this is uh, it has Manoj Bajpayee and Sharmila Tagore. Tagore, whom uh, we know. I just I can't put a f- name to a face, but I know we know her. Um, but let's just get. I have no idea what it's about. But if and I'm mo- assuming it's a it's a it's a standalone Disney picture, Hot Star. a standalone picture, not yeah, a series yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm drinking coffee, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> With whiskey. <in> With whiskey. Why are you the party just this? Your husband always ruins my photos. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Yeah, 
घर के बारे में पता है इसे बताना चाहिए आप दो तो मंजिलों का घर तो बन गया कमरे भी बढ़ गए पर इस एक घर में न जाने कब हम सब ने अपने अपने कमरों में खुद के घर बना लिए रिश्ते यू ही नहीं बन जाते घर में क्या कम पागल पाल रखे जो तुमने भी अपना नाटक शुरू कर दिया ये हमारा घर था जो हमने ईट पत्थरों से नहीं रिश्तों से बनाया था रिश्ते जो खून से नहीं दिल से बने थे लड़कों के बचपन अपने डैड के साथ कितने सारे फोटो होते हैं पता नहीं दूरी कैसे आ जाती है यकीन ही नहीं हो रहा है हमारी आखिरी रात है इस घर में मामा What a lovely trailer. Well, that looked absolutely adorable and mm. and lovely and it beautiful music. Um I I'm, I'm going to watch it. It's yep. it's uh looks it's lovely. All the actors involved look like it's a high class really looks like a very interesting story. A story that is very Indian. Mm. Like if here, let's say your mom was living with you and she was like, "Hey, I'm, I bought a house in blah 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 and I'm going to live there." Most Americans would be like, "Oh, cool." Yeah. We don't have to take right, care yeah, of our, bought, our mom anymore. I bought a condo in Miami. Oh, one, one. how? How'd you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be the first question. Right. Where'd you get that money? Yeah. <laughs> Miami's expensive. Um, but it's very Indian in terms of like, oh, it's they're huge. expected to live with you. That's, it would, that, it's, a, it's a bomb drop for yeah. a mom to say, out of the blue, our family home I'm selling and I've already bought a place in another town. I'm not going to live with you. Yeah, because uh, they all... The house. I'm the going house. to live alone. Well, and it's not just moms doing that. It's now everybody else is displaced because I'm sure they all still live mm -hmm. in the house with mom. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, I, if that happened to in Indrani's family, if all mm. of a sudden... Mom said, which it wouldn't work dynamically that way, but let's say it did, right? Yeah. That we're selling the ancestral home. Yeah. And I'm moving out of Calcutta. Even though she lives here now, that would be earth shattering mm -hmm. to the family. Yeah. Uh, heartbreaking. Why? Why didn't you talk to us about that? Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it's a deeply, yeah. deeply. Yeah, it's a very Indian, very Indian story. story. And also, I love it for, and I don't know the mom's reasons. I don't know if she's dying. I don't know if she just wants to, which I, I would right. love that the uh, mom is just taking control of her life. And she's well, like, I'll, hey. They'll tell us. Yeah, obviously, yeah. they'll tell us why. But I'd love it if it's like, I just, I, I've always wanted to live in Pondicherry. And I mean, I know we have family here and i know we have ties but this is my life and this yeah. is what i want because one that's a reasonable expectation for somebody to want to do something with the remainder of their life that they want to do and have no expectations on anybody else but obviously in india there's a bunch of expectations of you as the mother of you're just going to live with us now take care of help take care of our kids help raise us be yep. with me yep. uh we need you you need us uh and also this is our ancestral home <laughs> Uh, so uh, I, yep. I love the dynamic of it. I because, do too. Uh, well, if that is the case, I don't know. Well, obviously, we'll, we'll figure out why she's doing what she's doing. But I'd love it. It's just as simple as I've always wanted to live in Pondicherry. Yeah. And I'm leaving now. Well, and it's it's laden with possibilities, which are re revealed in the trailer of we've all lived in the same place, but we've never really known each other. And... Uh, uh, just what do we value? Why do we value it? I I, I suspect you're going to need tissue big time for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's got a stellar cast. Mm -hmm. Beautiful trailer. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very excited to see this one. Manoj looks obviously fantastic, but as does everybody, everybody else. Everybody else does too, yeah. Uh, I, I, asked, I didn't really ask because I was just on Twitter today and I was like, out of Manoj Bajpai, KK Menon, Nawaz and Pankaj. Good grief. Who is the best actor? <laughs> and then I said, 
There is no there wrong is no answer. answer. They're all the best of the best. They're the best of the best. <laughs> there is. Like that's like an impossible question. It's impossible. You could even put VJ Ross in there uh, no. with all of them, and it, 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 it's like it's you can't answer you that. Can't answer that. They're, the only reason they're all incredible. Any given year, hence, for example, Oscars. The everyone who's nominated typically is no better than the other. Unless Daniel Day Lewis is there. They are, <laughs> right. They are there at a level. Because they're equal and they can just do the roles that they do. Yeah. What typically determines that particular year's quote unquote best has to do with the kind of role they're portraying, those factors of the specificity of that role, that yeah, film, yeah, that yeah. time. But when it comes to the actors that, that are nominated, even, even for example, it's a shame the controversy surrounding Andrea Riseborough. Yeah. The, the, the controversy is legitimate and she herself has even said so. I read an interview in Variety of her, but the shame of this is that she's a deserving actress. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she, she's that caliber of actor. She, she is an Oscar level kind of actor and mm -hmm. that, that ought not be lost in the conversation because mm -hmm. agreed. Yeah, uh, great. Looks fantastic. March 3rd. Uh, we'll probably be watching this one. This one uh, looks very, very, very great. Uh, very excited about it. Let us know what you thought about the trailer and if you're excited for it down below. Josh!